while his wife, Dr. Joshi, immigrated from India as a child. As a county commissioner, John strives constantly to ensure that language, culture, and immigration status are never a barrier to accessing county services. Educated at Harvard Law School, County Commissioner Bartlett is a partner in the Murphy Orlando LLC, where his practice includes voting rights advocacy, litigation and counseling for nonprofit organizations, and other complex business and appellate cases. County Commissioner Bartlett received a BA degree with honors from Brown University and was a Raoul Wallenberg Scholar at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. He wrote for the Associated Press in Israel and served as communications director for the national anti-crime organization Fight Crime, Invest in Kids in Washington, D.C. Commissioner Bartlett. Thank you very much. And good morning, my fellow Americans. It's a privilege to be the first one to say that to you after you recited your oath. And as an elected official, I want you to know how proud we are that each of you is now one of us. Uh, as you heard in my introduction, I might not look like it, and I might not sound like it, but I'm part of an immigrant family. My wife is a naturalized citizen from India. I have heard her family stories for as long as I've known her. They're stories that immigrant families never stop repeating. You remember the day you came to this country, who you were with, what you were wearing, what you had with you, and what you left behind. If I asked, most of you could probably still tell me the date, even if it was decades ago. You may also remember the day you decided that this was not just where you would study, or where you would live while raising your children, or earning money to support your family back home. The day you decided you were here to stay, and that you would become an American. My wife's family stories are now my family stories, which is quite something because my family's history goes all the way back to the Mayflower. Fleeing a tyrannical king and a religious orthodoxy, my ancestors found refuge here in 1620, and 150 years later, their descendants joined with immigrants like Alexander Hamilton to declare that this would be a new nation. They fought for their freedom right here, literally right here where George Washington, Alexander Hamilton, James McHenry, and the Marquis de Lafayette shared lunch at the base of the falls in the spring of 1778, reflecting on the harsh winter they had just spent at Valley Forge. Two years later, Washington was mustering American revolutionary, revolutionary troops at the Dye Mansion in Wayne, which was his wartime headquarters in 1780. And those patriots, that's right, and those patriots inspired other great fights for freedom that we memorialize here in Passaic County. In Josiah Huntoon's factory just down the hill, where he and his African-American friend and business partner, abolitionist William Van Rensselaer, provided safe refuge as part of the Underground Railroad, helping slaves free, flee the South. At the Botto House in Haledon, where Patterson's silk strikes were planned to protect the workers in these mills, and ultimately to enshrine labor rights in law, so that we can take them for granted today. And of course, at this beautiful National Historical Park, where the Great Falls inspired another industrial revolution that drew more new immigrants to our shores. This whole effort, from Plymouth to the Passaic, to westward expansion that took us to the Pacific coast and beyond, has been referred to from time to time as the American experiment. And its success was by no means a sure thing. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, the new nation was conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. And in 1863, on a battlefield in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Lincoln wondered aloud whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. We have put that question to the test more than once over the years, and some would say we're putting it to the test again right now. My ancestors and others were descended from immigrants, but they nevertheless told successful wa successive waves of new immigrants to go back where they came from. I, for one, am glad for every immigrant who didn't listen. Because the American experiment is not about where we came from. It's about where we're going together. A few years after Hamilton, Washington, and others 
gathered here to wage a war of independence, they met in Philadelphia to design a new nation, a more perfect union. A more perfect union. Almost 250 years later, the hope contained in that phrase is still breathtaking. What a marvelous aspiration to recognize, even at the beginning, that the new nation was flawed, but to embark upon a collective effort always to make it better. Each generation cre create a more perfect union. We're still working at that. We're still trying to get it right. And we're still sometimes getting it wrong. But we're trying, and we're trying together. You left your homes to come here to make a better life. And whatever storms you came through on your journeys, you're here now. And speaking for me and the people I know, we're so grateful that you are. Think about all you've done since you arrived. You had victories and you've had challenges. And there will be more of both. But this day, this is a great day. This is a day that you and the people here who love you will remember for the rest of your lives. I'm honored to be part of it, and I wish you all the very best. Congratulations, and thank you.